Welcome back everybody to another video part of Game Raiders week 3. We are here. I don't know if this video is going to be late or not because I was actually recording the Q&A video today and I was supposed to get that up today, but I didn't expect the Q&A video to be an hour plus long and that means I still have to edit it and I still have to upload it and that's going to take a long time. So, I decided to push it back and instead, we're checking out a little mod here that I saw on the mod form and it looked really cool and these are the type of little mods that I like and the mod is called the Extra Gunslinger Gear mod, I think. Yeah, extra gunslinger gear now this mod adds in extra gunslinger stuff so if you want to play a ranger boom bada bing this will help out a lot now like i said little mods like this make me happy these little mods that add in things like this make me so happy and i enjoy them a lot because they're so cool so let's check out everything we're gonna start with the middle the middle has accessories armor and that's really about it it's a fairly small mod but it adds in you know a little amount of content let's check it out so first we got this right here giant torch consumes gel creates torches at the cost of gel unlimited torch power itty bitty inventory space so we get this and then we get some gel boom got it and now we have infinite torches that we can place right yes sir so this is actually a really cool way to uh have infinite torches besides like louis afk i think louis afk adds in infinite torches and uh, all you need to do is carry gel because who the hell fills up all their ammo spots anyways at least i'm not a person that does that so that honestly might just be worth alone for the mod i'm kidding They'll probably just use louis afk at that point but moving on to some of the accessories now we got the recon visor allows the user to see enemies through walls no one can hide from my sight so i'm assuming what this does is pretty much oh this is a thing you have to put on put on oh okay so i'm assuming this is pretty much like the hunter thing so say if i were to put an enemy right there yeah look i can see him I can still see him. So that's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. First accessory in, already a good accessory. Moving on to the next one. I'm not going to show any crafting recipes for some of these. I'll let you guys you check them out. Because even if you can't play the mod, the crafting recipes won't matter to you, anyways. But yeah, range attacks set enemies on fire. 15% increased range damage, critical strike chance, increases view range for ranged weapons. Uh, and then there's an asterisk. When accessory is visible, right click to zoom out. So the blazing scope, when the accessory is visible, right click to zoom out. When the accessory is visible, right click to zoom out so turn this on to visible okay you just you just right click and that's it that's all you do is the zoom in okay so it's pretty much what you expect from a scope what was the other thing it does sets enemies on fire right let me get like a gun that shoots actual bullets here this one pipe shotgun that sounds like it'll shoot bullets let's get uh just silver bullets Boom, set them on fire, nice and simple. Moving on, we got the illegal accessory kit. Increases range accuracy dramatically, range attacks the enemies on fire. So I'm assuming you combine a bunch of stuff to make this. That's at least, I don't know, it's an accessory kit. Usually kits, you combine stuff. Arcane bump, or not bump, why do I always say the prefix? Bump stock, converts all ranged weapons to auto fire. Ooh, okay. Let's try this out again with a pipe shotgun and uh, let, let's just see. So. It's not auto fire right now. I'm holding down left click and it's shooting, but you know, taking a little bit. Okay, I think because I have Omni swing on that it has no effect, but you understand what that means, right? <laughs> I, I hope you understand what it means. But yeah, moving on. Inferno muzzle. Range attacks at enemies on fire. Same thing. Sets things on fire. Uh, meteor muzzle. Range attacks at enemies on fire. Okay, th there seems to be a trend here of setting things on fire. There's four accessories that set things on fire. Increase range accuracy dramatically from the vertical grip. So I'm, I guess this what this means is that there's not going to be that much bloom. And bullets are going to, you know, the spread of bullets are going to be decreased. So as you see, you know, these spread a little bit. Put this on. It's going to be like one straight thing. Yeah, like what I expected. So that's really cool. I like that. Very nice to make shotguns, you know, have less spread. But usually you use shotguns because you want the spread. Moving on to the last accessory. Vortex Amplifier. Increases projectile velocity for ranged weapons. Uh, I need to stop putting the shotgun away because I'm going to take it out every single time. So they, the bullets just go faster. Is pretty much what it means but yeah uh moving on to the only armor set that's in this mod and it is during the meteor area so you can see here leather and meteorite bars so what is it when where do meteors drop meteors drop they drop right after the brain slash eater of worlds right so the outlaw outfit increases damage increases damage resistance increases more damage let's put it on let's see the set bonus 15 percent increased movement speed not bad at all for early set it looks really cool too Exp uh, that's what i expect the gunslinger to look like so yeah that's a really nice armor set hopefully there's more in the future i don't know how like new this mod is it can't be that new i feel like i've seen it before but let's move on to the ammo before we move on to the guns so we got a bunch of a bunch of endless pouches here there's an incendiary pouch that i think that sounds that's new uh i think everything else though is already in the game in terms of not being a new bullet and then we got crate 
crates here with uh, golden bullets, venom bullets, luminite, high velocity, exploding, party. And then we got wooden bullets. These wooden bullets, obviously, they're the early game bullets. Simple yet effective. Uh, incendiary bullets. Yep, those are some more new bullets. Then we got endless nano hard drive, which shoots uh, nanite bullets. And then we got ammunition crate and advanced bullet pouch, which I'm assuming is used to craft all these. Yep, expected as expected. But yeah, there you go. There's all the ammos. Now let's get into the stuff that we have been waiting for. And that is the guns themselves. Now there's a handful of guns added in here and uh, they all look cool. So I'm gonna try and set it up. So it's like weakest damage to highest damage. All right, so I have set them up from weakest to strongest. Hopefully we have all the right ammo types. We're just using silver bullets anyways. Let's see it in action. We got the silver SMG here, which I'm assuming is gonna be like the P90 from uh, Calamity. Okay, kind of. No fast shooting, low damage, expected. His damage actually wasn't too bad. I mean, that, that was against the slime. Let's summon in a bunch of slimes here. Yeah, fast shooting, low damage, expected from a spray and prey weapon. Let's move on to the tungsten SMG, which is pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's a little bit slower though. Do I have, no, nah, this one just feels slower. Yeah, it is slower. Maybe because it does one more damage, it's a little bit slower. Which is weird because it's the tungsten version. You expect the tungsten version to be a lot better. Anyways, Peacekeeper. Right click to fire a six shot burst. Let's do it. Peacekeeper. Is this a reference to like McCready or some shit? I don't know. Six shot burst. Ooh. So it does have a little a long cooldown before you can use it again. How did I, how did I miss every single shot right there? <laughs> a lot of these weapons may seem like they're doing no damage. Uh, I'm not wearing any armor or any accessories. And also, some of these are early game weapons. Because, you know, the Ranger early game is pretty void of guns. There's not a lot of guns for the Ranger early game. You pretty much just rock bows and stuff, honestly. When it comes to, like, early game uh, Ranger stuff. Moving on. Cork rifle. Should say cork out at your enemies. Let's do it. Pretty cool. I mean, it does exactly what it says. It shoots a cork at our enemies. I didn't expect it to shoot a rocket at our enemies. Moving on, double barrel musket. This sounds cool as hell. Uh, only the first shot consumes ammo, two shot bursts, almost twice the firepower. Now this thing seems pretty good. You know, nice and precise, shoots two shots. Probably really good for uh, big bosses or just big body enemies. Moving on to the pipe shotgun. We've seen this. We've seen the pipe shotgun is the one that I use the most this video. So here it is again. Uh, moving on to the hellfire assault rifle. Three round bursts, only the first shot consumes ammo. This one, probably need Hellstone to craft it. Probably gonna be one of the better ones in pre-hard mode. It seems like this might be like the last pre-hard mode weapon, but I'm not sure. Maybe they're all pre-hard mode. Or not all, but maybe a majority of them are. Moving on, murderous Big Ben. Four round bursts, only the first shot consumes ammo. So we're just getting a lot of bursts, is what it seems like. But they, they just gradually go up in damage and how many shoots shots they burst out uh rend asunder right click to fire six shot burst and assassin's right hand man let's put all these weapons up here now this one has a really cool name so i expect it to be pretty good this looks like a crimson version like you get this if you have the crimson and then like the that double barrel musket you, you get that if you have corruption so this one is not too bad uh we got the pitcher's pitfall uh four round burst occasionally fires an additional explosive flower shoots a powerful high velocity bullet Ooh, and you saw the little flower that shoots out? Let's see if I can kill it with the flower. No, don't hit it. Hit it with the flower. There we go. We hit it with the flower that time. So that's really cool. I like that one. Uh, moving on. Hollowed spreader. Shoots a ricochet and crystal bullet. Ooh, it's a shotgun. Okay. So ricochets. Let's just put it to the test. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I like that one a lot. That one, that one seems like a single target high damage dealer if you get really close. But it also feels like you can clear waves with this if you get up above. Moving on to the next one. Shroomite assault rifle. Beautiful. More stuff for the Shroomite stuff. One of my favorite like Terraria themes is Shroomite stuff. Four round bursts. That's really it. It's just four round bursts. It's an assault rifle. What, uh, what do you expect? It assaults people and it's a rifle. Moving on. Decapitator. Uh, four round burst. Fires an additional scythe blade. So this can shoot out a scythe blade. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, next one is the Vortex Pulse Rifle. Five round burst. Oh, we finally made it to five. Okay, and it shoots out, what was that? A homing rocket? Only the first shot consumes ammo. It doesn't say anything about what it shoots out, but it shoots out a little rocket. I don't think it homes. We're gonna see. Oh, it does home. I was right. I didn't even know. I, I was just guessing. It just seemed like it homed. And last but not least, the golden sniper rifle. Uh, shoots a powerful high velocity bullet. A reward for competitiveness. No idea. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a sniper rifle. 
is sniping. But yeah, I'm gonna go over a couple recipes because I already know I'm gonna get people complaining in the comments for some reason about me not going over recipes, even though they're probably not gonna play the mod. Whatever, here's some of the recipes. But yeah, sorry if this video felt a little bit rushed. It's that I just recorded the QA video and I thought that was gonna go up today. But obviously, I don't have enough time to edit it and record it by the time 5 p.m., 6 p.m. reaches. So I'm just gonna switch it to this video. And this is a nice little mod. You should definitely check it out if you're doing a Ranger playthrough and you know you don't want too many big mods. This might be one of those mods that like you know eases you in to uh modded terraria and uh, i don't know i feel like this would go good alongside like thorium or something like that because uh it's a pretty good mod like i said little mods like this fill my heart with so much joy and it's just nice seeing mods like this and they help out a lot they make terraria modded terraria just feel good that all the cracks and crevices are being filled but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video it is pride month so that means i love you guys full homo and also uh merch my merch has free shipping from june 1st to june 4th make sure to check out my merch if you want to cop some game raiders merch uh, i might add some new designs and that's really it that's really it make sure you check out vod raiders 101 my second youtube channel make sure you check out my twitter my twitch my discord everything in the description check out the the, the links in the description